friends we're gonna do a really short video today uh, we're going to take a play out of our friend Lev Farmer 73's playbook and we're going to slow cook a pork shoulder and then we're going to actually go ahead and can this because we are running out of room in our freezers as we uh, kind of stock up we know a lot of stuff's going on in the world and we want to make sure we keep food on hand that lasts us short term, mid term, long term. And we'll be doing a follow up video on some of the ways that we do that. But today we're going to do a quick. When I say quick, that's an oxymoron. We're going to slow cook a uh, pork shoulder. But we're going to do a quick video on it. So we already uh, pre seasoned our pork shoulder we did a, a binder of uh, mustard and then we used some Uncle Steve shake recommended to us by our friend Papa Texas Papa and uh, let that sit overnight we wrapped it now I'm gonna go out fire up our slow cooker and we're gonna slow cook it for anywhere between six to eight hours depending on how much sunlight we have today so let me get out to the grill and get it started up. All right, so I actually let the day get by me a little bit, but we're out here at our offset smoker and uh, we've been uh, cooking our pork shoulder for about five, six hours now and we just opened it up. So we just open it up. We uh, wrap ours in foil. Uh, if you don't like using foil, if you have a roasting pan, you can do the same thing. Uh, we just added our wood chips and we'll smoke this for about an hour, hour and a half. And one thing that we do that some people don't, uh, we have a drip pan beneath our meat and we also uh, fill our drip pan with water so that gives it a little bit more humidity in there. It help keeps the meat uh, more tender. So we're gonna smoke this for about an hour, hour and a half. We also have some ribs, which we're not talking about today, and we'll smoke those for about an hour or two. So I'll come out and I'll unwrap our ribs here in about a half hour. So we're gonna let this smoke. I'm gonna go back inside, watch some football, and uh, enjoy time with the family. And we'll bring you guys back when we uh, take this inside to eat. Alright, so we got our uh, pork shoulder in. It's nice and tender. It's so tender it fell apart <laughs> when I was uh, taking it off the grill. So I'm going to do a uh, quick taste test. I'll let you guys see our end results here. And we're getting ready to sit down. Uh, eat some ribs. Uh, we actually cooked some pizza on our grill today while we were doing this. We try to maximize what we're doing. But Mrs. SG is going to can this. We'll make room in our freezer and uh, we'll have more long term food. But I'm going to try to eat a piece of this without burning my mouth. Oh. Uh, come here, SK1. I know you want to try it too. I don't want. I don't want anybody to think that I'm depriving the family of food. So I'm going to give him a taste too. Whew, that big of a taste was hot, buddy. So. Stop eating now. How is it? Okay. That's it. We're gonna leave some for Mama to can. Maybe. Oh wow. 
So we're sitting down at the table to eat ribs and I feel like eating pork shoulder now but I'm going to refrain so we can can this. Well, it started off as a 10 pound uh, pork shoulder. Now it's probably 6-7 pounds but this will make a nice uh, uh, canning session for Mrs. SG. So as always this is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden saying God bless our great nation America and God bless you wherever you reside around the world. Take care. Sapper out. SK2, what do you say? Sapper out and He's hypnotized by the pickle. <laughs> Rock. And Sapper out and SK2 out. <laughs> okay, take care everyone.